Would you be enjoying making a ground beef and shrimp fried rice that is more delicious, less calories, faster than takeout, even with doing the cleaning? It's also so much cheaper. Start with one tablespoon of oil in the pan over high heat. We then add one pound of ground beef. Press down to spread it out. You may use either vegetable, canola, or peanut oil. Season with ground pepper, kosher salt, and garlic powder. We will let it cook to brown the bottom of the beef. In the meantime, quickly dice one medium onion. Break the beef into chunks, then remove it from heat. Reduce heat to medium, then add the diced onion. Mince three cloves of garlic add to the pan as well. Give it a stir, we then move on to prepare our rice. Simply break up 6 cups of cooked rice. The rice should be kept in the refrigerator until now. That is important to produce an excellent texture for the fried rice. Mix the rice with 1 fourth cup of oil and it's good to go to the pan. Crank the heat up to medium high. We then stir occasionally for about 2 minutes. The advantages of preparing the rice off the stove is that it's easier, plus each grain of rice is separated and coated with oil. That ensures the rice cooks evenly and thoroughly, setting up a success for our fried rice. Now we season the fried rice with 2 and half tablespoons of soy sauce, half teaspoon of kosher salt, and half teaspoon of sugar. This may not be familiar to you, but Asian cooking usually has sugar in most dishes. This to balance out the sodium in the dish. It is worth a try if you have never done it before. Half cup of frozen corn and one cup of frozen diced carrots and peas mix. Stir for a minute then add just seasoning to taste with salt and pepper. Finally, we add in 12 ounces of frozen shrimps. Stir occasionally until the shrimps are cooked. It takes about 2 to 3 minutes, which is also a perfect time for doing some cleaning. Sunny was here with me the entire time to make sure I did it right. She is a sweet girl. Strings are cooked. Turn up heat, add the beef back in. Stir up and remove the pan from heat. It looks amazing. Alright, I'm sure everybody know what to do next. But just in case you have any question, let me know in the comments. Prep, cook, and clean at the same time. It may be difficult at first, but if you keep practicing on it, you will become master of it. And when that comes, cooking is a breeze. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider like, subscribe, or just say hi to help out my channel. You have a great day. Bye-bye.